the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health will not reinstate a universal indoor mask mandate, the department announced today, citing slowing COVID-19 transmission countywide. Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer, during a weekly COVID-19 briefing on Thursday, July 28, said that LA County's data, differing from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's data, is showing a decrease in the spread of the virus and hospitalizations as a result. Any indication? We we will be pausing and not moving forward at this time. Ferrer said the county may move back into medium community transmission as early as next Thursday, though that determination will have to wait until the county receives the CDC's most recent COVID-19 data. The county had foreshadowed the mandate's return two weeks ago, as rising coronavirus case and hospitalization rates climbed, fueled by two highly contagious, but less severe, Omicron subvariants. Those increases sent the county into the high transmission tier, as defined by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, on July 15. At that point, Ferrer said the county would reimpose the indoor mask mandate on Friday, July 29, unless the metrics improved. Three metrics determine a county's transmission, as defined by the CDC, new COVID-19 cases per 100, OOO residents over the past seven days, new COVID-19 hospitalizations per 100, OOO people over the past seven days, and the percent of staffed inpatient hospital beds occupied by COVID-19 patients. Because the county's new case rate has long been greater than 200 people per 100 OOO residents, the threshold for moving into the high transmission tier was either 10 or more new COVID-19 hospitalizations over a seven-day period or the percent of staff in patient beds occupied by COVID-19 patients. The county moved into the high tier on July 14, when hospital admissions hit 10. 5 people per 100 OOO residents. The proportion of staffed hospital beds occupied by COVID-19 positive patients, meanwhile, was about 5. 4%. A week later, on July 21, the former metric had climbed to 11. 7. But today, Ferrer said, DPH opted to use the county's own in-house data to make the call on whether to implement a new mask mandate, as opposed to waiting for the CDC's updated next Thursday. LA County's data is two days ahead of the CDC, Ferrer said, accounting for the week ending on July 27. The CDC's data, which accounts for the seven-day period ending on July 25 shows the county's hospitalization rate at 11.